The Lord needs your money. I make it rain in the church like I make it rain in the club. Yes. Ooh. You can have all my money. All of it you can have. Thank you, Diva. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. You can have all my money. All of it you can have. Oh, some of them Latin. Ooh. Ooh. I make it rain in the church like I make it rain in the club. This world has become a place of carnality and perversion where people can only recognize physical existence. If all that can be recognized is physical existence, man will never recognize God. The Lord told me to let y'all know this. The Lord told me to get some dough from his nation. The Lord needs a donation. He needs some bread so he can make multiple loaves of bread for you people. That's what he needs. He needs the bread. Yeah! Him need bread. You lost, confused people will go to church, call yourselves paying tithes, which is real extortion money, and will place that money in the baskets, making the pastor rich in exchange for blessings. Tithes, as you know, are, know today are extortion money paid to the pastor and tithes do not go to the pastor your tithes should be spiritual in essence they are meant for you to bring to the congregation for you to eat share the fruits of your labor and enjoy after you've been spiritually blessed in order to show appreciation for what you have been spiritually blessed with which is life deuteronomy 14 22 to 27 says you shall certainly tithe all the produce from what you sow which comes from the, from the field every year. You shall eat, eat in the presence of the Lord your God at the place where he chooses to establish his name, the tithes of your grain, your new wine, your oil, and the firstborn of your herd and your flock. Tithes has nothing to do with giving money nor anything else to a pastor. Your tithes are not meant to feed a greedy-ass pastor. They're not meant to feed a greedy ass pastor money in order to be blessed. Deuteronomy 14, 22 to 27 further says, But if the distance is so great for you that you are not able to bring the tithe or food to be eaten, since the place where the Lord your God chooses to set his name is too far away from you when the Lord your God blesses you, then you shall exchange it for money and bind the money in your hand and go to the place which the Lord your God chooses, which is a church. And you may spend the money on whatever your heart desires. On oxen, oxen sheep, wine, or other strong drink, or whatever your heart desires. And there, you, and there you shall eat in the presence of the Lord your God and rejoice. That's Deuteronomy 14, 22-27. Blessings are not physical, material, nor monetary. They are spiritual and not tangible. So if you believe in a spiritual, non-physical God who blesses you in a spiritual way with health and intelligence in order for you to make money, you only need to provide a spiritual exchange and show of gratitude to God because God is energy, not physical. God is true love and spirituality. Spirituality. Spirituality is required by God. Spirituality belongs to God, not physical money. You're not paying pastor tithes. You're paying pastor extortion money. 
Psalm 62, 10 to 12 says, Do not trust in extortion or put vain hope in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard. Power belongs to, to you, God, and with, and with you, Lord, is unfailing love. L love is energy and, and spirituality and is nothing physical, tangible, nor monetary. In Mark 12, 15 and 18, Jesus says, Why are you trying to trap me? He asked. Bring me a denarius and let me look at it. They brought the coin and he asked them, Whose image is this? And whose inscription? Caesar's, they replied. Then Jesus said to them, Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. Peace. The Lord told me to tell you that you chillin, you must pay a third of your check. Every time you get paid, it's called paying tithes. It's called paying tithes. You must get the Lord your money to show that you're not a slave to that green. You know what I mean? It's called paying tithes, chillin. The Lord needs your money. He needs dough from his nation. He needs a donation. Mm -hmm.